Hello, everybody. I just need to get the chat now. Hold on a second. I'm uh, <laughs> having a day, to say the least. Um, hold on one second. I can't see the chat yet. Right, that should not be on. Hello, everybody. Shush. Shush. Anyway, it's been it's been quite a day, morning, whatever you want to call it, already. And I apologize for being late, but I've been literally on the phone for since 7:45 this morning, and it is now 10:40. I have to keep the phone by me because I may have to answer it if I get a call. I've been just busy. I'm sorry. And yeah, I thought I wasn't going to be this busy this morning, but apparently that changed. And I apologize because it's just not been fun. It's been very stressful, actually. Anyway, enough about that. How's everybody doing today? Um, I finally took this craft mat off my desk and cut it because it was too big and I had no way to... Because I have, like, stuff back here. I have, like, shelf things and, like, little drawer things and a thing and things on my desk that need to be there. So this gray mat was really big and it had to tuck underneath of those things. And I could never get it to sit flat. It was constantly buckling in areas. It was never sitting fat, flat. So I ripped the whole thing out and then took off about that much of it going all the way down so that it wouldn't touch any of those things back there so that it can lay flat and I won't have any more problems hopefully with it buckling because that was annoying what do you mean no audio my audio should be fine refresh and audio should be fine I'm not muted or anything so make sure you refresh before you say no audio no sound no this no that always do that first refresh first but anyway um so i've been on the phone all morning trying to get somebody out here to do some things and it is very very difficult to get somebody out and do some things i mean i've spent days on the phone and i'm no more closer to getting anybody out here to do anything so that's my life is spent sitting on the phone every day and it's frustrating and the phone, because I'll call, and then, of course, nobody ever answers their phone, so I leave a message, and then they start calling me back an hour later, and so then my phone just, like, rings off the hook, and so if it rings, I have to mute my microphone and take this call if I get a phone call, so I apologize if that happens, but it, they're usually not very long phone calls, they're just, it's just annoying, so that's what I've been doing, and yeah. I'm just getting stressed out because I'm on a time limit and my time is running out and I still am no more closer to getting what I need done than I was before, which is frustrating. Um, so anyway, hopefully you guys can all see and hear me now. Um, um, so how's everybody's day doing? Mine's better now that I'm not sitting on the phone. That, I'll tell you. I don't even have anything up here. Where's my paper? All right, who stole my paper? Who stole my paper? Where the hell did it go, really? Um, um, <laughs> well, I moved some things around over here. So I sold one of my trees that I made, um, one of the, the one that's all rustic with the moss on it, the sticks tree thing. I sold one of those, um, maybe it's over here, um, no, I really gotta stop moving everything around because then I can't find a damn thing. All right. I'm still looking for my paper. I don't know what the hell I did with it. No clue. There it is. 
found it. It only took me 10 minutes. That's all. Um, I'm early because I'm early. That's all. I, I mentioned yesterday or the day before that I was going to be doing it at this time of day. I do this every now and again, mostly because of my schedule, but also because in the UK it helps them be able to watch because they don't get to watch very often because I'm always doing it so late. So when my schedule allows it, I like to do an early one so that the early people or the overseas people get to watch. Fun, fun, fun. Till her daddy took the T-bird away. My worst nightmare is sitting on the phone. It really is. I can't stand it anymore. I used to. That's what I used to do for a living. Because one of my jobs that I did in advertising and marketing was to be on the phone a lot. Because I had to talk to businesses all day. And I really hate it. I didn't hate it as much back then, but that I was in my, I was like 20 something, 25, 24. And at the time I liked it because I made a lot of money, <laughs> but On that kind of job, you get burnt out real fast because it's a good amount of pressure in that type of environment that I just, after a while, <clears throat> didn't appreciate. So, I didn't stay with it for more than uh, five, six years. It was, just, it was a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Is everybody okay? You guys can see now. Is somebody still having a problem? They may have to restart their computer if they're having issues. But if the majority can see in here, then it's not on my end. chit chat um because I also need to get stuff away from me that I don't want paint on all kinds of stuff because I'm not really that prepared because I've spent so much time on the phone I lost track of time I actually didn't think it was as late as it was honestly I also lost my cards. I don't know where they are either. Well, that's, a, you know what? We could play the game where you guys choose rather than me try to find my cards, which are missing all of a sudden, because I'm sure I misplaced them. You guys can choose today. I'll pick people. And when I pick you, you guys get to choose a, a, a prompt. So have an idea in your head in case I pick you of what you would choose. Um, and this way I can, I can see you Zoe. If you want to talk to me, make sure you put it in all caps. Cause if you ask me a question and it's not in all caps, then I'm not likely going to see it very quickly. <laughs> Having it in all caps makes you stand out from the rest and then I can see you.
What are you having mega mega issues with, Teresa? Hi, Dawn. Hi, Emily. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Sharon. I said that already. <laughs> Sorry. I want a puppy too, Rita. Tigger wants a baby sister. Hi, Laura. You having mega issues with a stalker? Like a real stalker or is like... Hi Rose. Thank you for your package. I was going to email you this morning or message you this morning, but I've been on the phone and then I didn't have time, but thank you. I showed it in the last live stream or no. When did I show that? I honestly, I don't even remember when I showed it because that's how much my brain is not working right now because my head has got so many things going on that my brain just decided to turn off. Oh, a real, like a real life stalker, not like an online stalker, but like a real life stalker. Well, that's not fun. I hope you've called the police. You're having a hot flash, Angie. <laughs> I think I'm having a hot flash. Yeah, I think I am. I'm having, it's not, I'm not hot though. I'm just having a hot flash in my brain. My brain is melted. Mine's turned off. Mine's turned off, especially more than ever right now because I'm under a lot of stress right this second because so much is going on between now and January and I have so much I have to get accomplished and I have nobody to help me as usual and no money as usual and I'm waiting for my anemia stuff to go away hopefully thermal event yeah thermal meltdown is what it is Hi, Deborah. Hi, Pauline. Well, that sucks, Teresa. That's not fun at all. Oh, that's nice, Rose. Outside enjoying the weather. Okay. Well then, Rose, I'm going to give you the honors. You get to choose the first prompt. Rose gets to choose the first prompt. I'll write her name down that she chose the first one so I don't forget later on if I could find a piece of paper. There we go. And I'll choose, I'll write down what prompt she, she chose. You get to choose the first prompt. Acrylic paints. We could do that. We can do that. And I don't want to do red and green, so I'm going to do. Um, oh, I can reach my paint pins. Let me get to them. They're hiding over here. There's a little bit of light blue, some metallic something or others. Maybe some metallic purple. I don't know. Just not in the mood to do Christmas. Acrylic paints. Oh, <laughs> come on. Focus. 
There you go. Let me uh, turn the autofocus off until until this thing decides to act like a real camera. Zoom it in a little bit. And, okay, there we go. There she goes. I wasn't looking at the thing because I was looking at paint, so. I'm feeling okay. Just stressed, that's all. Physically, I feel okay right now, but my brain is not happy. Not happy. Hey, why has there got to be a glob? No globs allowed. This is a glob-free zone. Let's do some this color. What surprise did you get, Emily? Yeah, use any color you want to use. She did, She just said uh, acrylic paint, so any acrylic paint you want. I'm going to use a little bit of purple metallic. Just throwing it on there. In spots. And so, um, Teresa, how about you pick the next prompt? You pick the next prompt, girl. I'll put your YouTube name so I don't. A little easier for me.
All right, texture paste or well texture or whatever texture is to you. You don't have to use texture paste. You can use paper. You can use whatever you want to make texture, but put some sort of texture on your on your page. I'm going to find a texture paste of some sort. Let's see. And I'm going to put it on with maybe a stencil. Oh, no, Tigger. Go out and bark at everything. I need to find my stencil because I don't know what it is with them. Yay, me. Texture. Where's my stencil? In here? Yeah, they're in here. I found them. They were hiding. They were hiding. Maybe we we'll use that one. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. That's nice, Emily. quit you're not gonna sit there and, and and look out the window and growl at everything I'll kick you out of the room Tigger. is sitting under my pink Christmas tree looking out the window looking for trouble is what he's doing he's looking for trouble he's trying to find something he can bark at <laughs> over here.
water, but the bottle is drunk. It keeps falling over. Hi, Patricia. Doing Tigger. He's making pig noises over there. He's doing his aerobics on the floor. He's so weird. weird. Going to the woman doctor. <laughs> Have fun with that. That's not fun. Jamie. Hi, Rain Girl.
tried to dry that the best I could so we can move on. It's pretty dry. Takes a minute to do that. All right. How about you, Melissa? How about you choose one? Time for Melissa to choose one. What should I do next? Bye, Laura. Come back again soon, Laura. Hi, Crystal. You hurt your back crafting with paper crafts? <laughs> Uh, I don't even want to know how you did that. How do you, how is working with paper crafts? How did you hurt your back again? See, I need a little explanation on that one. Glitter sprays. Okay. Could shimmer sprays be that, be, be what you mean as well? Like paint, like shimmer sprays or does it specifically have to be like a glitter spray? Who's playing along with me today? I forgot to ask. Okay, so glitter or shimmer spray. Let's see. No, Tigger, I'm not getting up to do anything for you. You, my friend, need to go lay down. How's that? Yeah. Let's see. Let's try it on. And do what your sort of sprays. grab a drop piece of paper so that I can spray without making a mess. one. All right, let me grab this. I always forget to lay these down before I start things like this. I guess I should have done it from the beginning, in other words, but I always forget. Any spray will do, she says. Hairspray. spray well on. Oh, we got some runnage going on. And it's very shimmery. You can't probably see, but it's very shimmery. If I add some water to it, really get it flowing. Let's see. Let 
We can get some stuff going around here. Moving and shaking. Just getting it to flow all over the place. Okay, so next we'll pick Kendra. Kendra, your turn. You tell me what you want, want me to do. Have you ever had moon cookies, Emily? Do, do you have a Trader Joe's near you? Hmm. Paint splatters. Good one, good one. What are you doing, buddy? You being a good boy? Yeah? You being a good boy? Okay, why don't you go play, okay? Mommy's busy. Yeah, Mommy's busy, buddy. Okay? I'm busy, and you're a busy body. There's a difference. You're a nosy rosy. Mm-hmm. All right. Go lay in your chair. Come on. I hate being a pain in the buttocks. Okay. I'm 
trying to do some light pink splatters. Um, Oh, that sucks. Well, there's recipes I've made my own in the past. They're not hard to make. <laughs> Why is your dog's name Tigger? Let's do you all right there, buddy? Now your pant leg is off. You can't keep your pants on, can you? Typical man. Lindsay. Glad to see you here. In fact, I'm so glad to see you here. Why don't you pick the next prompt we're going to use? What should I do next, Lindsay? You tell me what I should do next. I'll slow down, Tammy. You want me to slow down for a bit? Because I could slow down for a bit. I don't know if you're going to catch up that incredibly mu uh, much. <laughs> We're a little behind, but... No, Tigger, not right now. I may have to go let poop face out. Lindsay, can you hear me? You stretched and broke the rib? Oh, good lord. I think I have to run and let him out. Can you guys wait a second? Because otherwise he's gonna sit here whining. All right, pain in the ass. Come on. 
I'll be right back. Okay, sorry ladies. Sorry. 
anyway, um, I apologize. I hope that gave you, Tammy, some time to catch up. I guess Lindsay, I don't know whether she's here or not still, but I'm going to have to pick somebody else because until I find her, because she's not answering me. Um, 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 Joyce Boring, pick, pick, pick. Pick a prompt. Pick a prompt, lady. Pick a prompt. Lindsay might have just came in to say hi and then and then left potentially I don't know the last two prompts were paint splatters and sh shimmer sprays or paint sprays stamps Joyce says stamps The last two were shimmer sprays, you know, or paint sprays of some sort, and then paint splatters. All right, let's see. Stamps. Um, I'm just going to get my bucket of household stamps. If I can get them out, that's the question. That's question of the day. Can I even get them out? I have bread over here. I don't know why. Let me get that out of the way. That's all. All right. My favorite. Are you, are you able to hear me, Tammy? They're glitters, glimmer sprays or any kind of paint sprays, something that sprays, um, and paint splatters. I don't know if you're able to hear me because I had said that already, but I don't know if you were. I don't know if you was hearing me, lady, miss lady. Let's see. Um... Some not this color. No, not that one. Let me see. Let's do this one.
Yes, Miss Kendra puts up all the prompts in the group. We already did a texture. Pick, pick a different one, Lindsay. We did, um, what we've done so far is acrylic paints, texture, shimmer or glitter sprays, paint splatters, and now stamps. I think you might be a little, she might be a little behind. I don't know if she has her, the recording or, you know what I mean, the video a little bit behind or not. That happens sometimes when you come into a live stream for some reason. I don't know why. Ephemera, good one. Okay, good one. That's okay, that's all right. So after we do stamps, we're gonna do ephemera from Lindsay. I'll write that down. And ephemera basically is papers, little scraps, little things that you would normally throw away is what ephemera is. I don't know if I wanna add any more. Maybe black, something with black. Um, I don't know, here, let me get this flower out. We'll do the flower in black. Get that spread out. Only thing about this stamp is it's so shallow it's hard to like pick it up and put it into the paint because it's doesn't have much to pick it up by so you end up getting your fingers really dirty and the sides of the stamp really dirty I don't know who made this or decided that was a good idea but I'd like to tell them, no, it's not a good idea to make a foam stamp that thin. It's just not a good idea. I'm going to get my sleeve all in it. My Etsy shop name, all one word, Pink Poodle Craft Shop. So it's my YouTube name in all one word with no spaces, with shop at the end. Thanks, Kendra. Yeah, Pink Poodle Craft Shop. enough of that mess.
Me too, Lindsay. Me too. Memory like a sieve. <laughs> this is so freaking accurate. People say the expression, it goes in ear and out, goes in one ear and out the other. See, mine doesn't even make it to the other side of the ear before, you know, the other side of my head to go out the other side because it just dissolves. So it goes in to my ear about that far. And then it goes boink, 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 splits apart, breaks up. I remember pieces of what was going on 10 minutes ago. And then it just absorbs into my body and re retains itself as useless information that I don't remember the full thing. So that's what happens. That's scientifically what really goes on in my brain. I believe that. <laughs> You mean this thing over here, this this gray thing, or this? This is just a piece of scrap paper. Um, if you're talking about this underneath, that is a mat called the greatest craft, the best craft mat ever, I think it's called, by Ken Oliver. Um, it's a great craft mat, but if you get frustrated easily by certain material, like, I can't explain it. You just have to, it's a good craft mat without doubt. It's definitely a great craft mat. Everything comes off of it. It's heat resistant. You can heat things on it. It's not going to warp. The whole nine yards, great for that. But if you get frustrated trying to clean something that you can't wipe unless it's, you have to use a wet thing to wipe this. You have to use wet. You cannot use dry because it'll basically just curl up in a ball and crumble. Like I can't explain it. It's, it's a very, very non-stick type of thing. And if you try to run like a dry cloth across it just stops you know what i mean it's very difficult so you have to make sure you i use a lot of baby wipes to clean this big time it's a great craft mat it's just for me it can be a little frustrating i have a love-hate relationship with it because of the cleaning process that part just gets on my nerves a bit but other than that i mean nothing you know it's great for you know not you know for not having anything stain it or ruin it or anything you know what i mean most people have more patience than I do. I don't have the patience for things when I'm trying to clean up quickly. And I'm just like, damn it, I just want to be able to run a dry cloth over it. But, you know. I have the patience of a crocodile. <laughs> I get angry before I <laughs> before I ever get anything accomplished. If it doesn't work, I get angry about it. I used to have like massive amounts of patience, but I guess, you know, I think because when I got older, I got adult onset ADD and the fact that my memory has also been affected, all of that, like I get, sh things get me short fused quicker than they used to when I'm working with things that get on my nerves because I don't know, I think it's just, I never, ha it never bothered me before, but I think, I, I think it's just my way of fighting with my ADD and everything else. You're not invisible, uh-uh. That's it, Kendra, the Ken Oliver best craft mat ever thing. Best, best ever craft mat, that's it. Okay, so Lindsay says we're gonna put some ephemera on it, so we is gonna put some ephemeras on it. I don't know what kinds of ephemeras I've got over here right now, but we're gonna put some on it. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what I did with, 
I had napkin scraps over here somewhere, but I can't seem to remember what I've done. Oh, there they are. I've got a lot of texture on here, so I have to be careful what I put on top of this. But I think something like that would be kind of cool. And maybe some of that would be kind of cool. I need to pull the leather, other layer off of this. Things like this. Trying to pull a napkin off the back. It's very frustrating. My, I don't have the patience for it. Phew. Frustrating. I think I'm going to put this piece like over here or something. Oh no, I don't want that. Where's my glue? That's, well, that's clear. I have clear gesso, but I'm not sure. No, here it is. Here's my Mod Podge. I have my clear gesso, but I don't feel like, I think that needs to be way too mixed, and I don't feel like mixing it. Lindsay. I like it too. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, when my doctor told me that, because I went to uh, a psychiatrist because I was having issues with memory, and the memory was explained by my doctors for the most part, you know, so that I get, but there were so many other things I couldn't, I was having issues with, and I had a feeling that ADD might be something. And I didn't know that you could get ADD as an adult. Apparently you can. I thought it was like kids get it, you know, and that's it. You either have it as a kid or you don't have it. But I was wrong. And, um, yeah, I, when the doctor said, yeah, I think you have a touch of uh, adult onset ADD, and they, they prescribed me Adderall, but I hated it. Oh, I hated it. It was awful. So I stopped taking that, and I just said, you know what? It's not bad enough, I don't think, where I need to be on drugs. It's not that, you know, it's not, I'm not at a point in my life where I'm going through school, or I have this, you know, job where I need to really concentrate that much so i didn't feel the need to be on yet another drug it just wasn't important enough to me i was like hmm yeah as nice as it would be but adderall was just it was a hell i didn't like it at all it was not a very nice drug to me i had a lot of unwanted side effects on adderall that i didn't care for too much So I just decided I don't need it. I mean, I'm sure I need something, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, but I really didn't know what adult onset at ADD was until then. I thought maybe I was just going crazy. I didn't know what was going on. And the doctor said, oh, you may have had a touch of ADD as a child or something, and then it maybe it settled out when you were in your 20s, and it wasn't so bad, which is true. I may have had ADD when I was a child, for sure. I, I think maybe. I don't think I did in my 20s and 30s, because I had really good focus and concentration when I was in my 20s and 30s. 
And, but he says it's typical. Some people have it as a young child and then it goes away, you know, because through their adolescence or through puberty, it kind of levels itself out. He goes, and then it could sneak back up on them when they're in their forties. I was like, oh, I was like, well, that makes a lot of sense. And that's very possible because yes, I could have very much been ADD as a child, like as a young child. Well, once I became a teenager, not so much. Yeah, me too. I was very much really good at multitasking, really, really good at multitasking. Like that's what, when I worked at several of my jobs, my, my whole job was to be this multitasker. And I was like the only person that could do the jobs that I did because I was so good at multitasking. And now I can't, I can't multitask as well as I used to be able to. I don't think I need too much more on mine. Yeah, I used to have a touch of OCD um, borderline. It wasn't super bad. It wasn't like Chris's, but it was pretty bad with the cleaning. I used to obsessively clean everything over and over and over and over and over again. Um, I've kind of learned to let that go a little bit more. And I think it's something to do with the fact that I had health issues. And after I had Cushing syndrome, oddly enough, my OCD kind of settled down and I didn't have those problems anymore. Cushing syndrome caused a lot of things to rewire itself in my brain somehow because it dealt with the tumor that is in on my pituitary. It's still there, but because it, it used to shoot out hormones and when it was done doing all that and went into remission, it changed something in my brain because I started having a lot of memory loss issues. I started having the ADD issues, but other things went away like my ability to focus on things and be like really strong at focusing on things and having patience that went away and my OCD though that was a good thing that kind of went away my OCD kind of it, you know whereas it used to be like let's say out of between one to five it used to be like a four is now like a two you know what I mean like it went down big time so it's not so it's not so bad it's weird. I'm glad you're on meds though and you don't have nervous breakdowns anymore. Oh, do you, Lindsay? Is yours active or is it inactive? Mine currently is inactive, as far as I know, hopefully. Has it done anything? I mean, because pituitary tumors, there's lots of different kinds and they do different things. Did, what is, is, has yours ever caused you any issues or problems? What do I do with my scissors? Oh, there they are. Oh, inactive. That's good. Has it ever been active or did they just find it accidentally? And 
because mine was inactive for the longest time and then it became active and I had Cushing syndrome and um, that was hell um, but then it I had that emotional issue in my life I went through a massive depression and all kinds of things went on like emotional shock surrounding when me and Chris split up and it turned off the pituitary tumor which they said could happen like you know some sort of stress or something massive stress or whatever could do that and it did and it turned it off and then all the symptoms kind of went away and then you have low yo you have low cortisol gotcha okay yeah I I had really high cortisol really high cortisol at the time which is why they I'm on a steroid now but they keep it at low they can't they can't ever they can't put me on long term like high high steroids they have to keep it low because it could bring my my um, Cushing's out of remission which we don't want but um, I had really high cortisol um, like triple of what a normal person would have and that's what prompted them to start researching and figuring out what was going on they did all kinds of biochemical testing on my brain and everything and they found the two the tumor my adrenal glands were really swollen I had all kinds of issues um yeah I gained a lot of weight Oh, your daughter had a tumor removed? What kind of tumor was it, Zoe? Hopefully she's doing... Was it pituitary? They were going to remove mine, and then it went into remission, so they didn't have to. All right, we'll pick another card just in case somebody else wants another card, but mine's pretty full. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's see. Let's have Janie. How about you pick the next one? What do I do with my pen? Here's another one. Oh, you have RA as well? Huh. Interesting. Hopefully you don't have Crohn's either. Oh, it was a pituitary tumor, Zoe? Oh, that's interesting. And so they removed it because what was it causing your daughter? Like, was it causing Cushing syndrome or like Lindsay had low cortisol or something? Did they go up through the nose like they were going to do on me? That's kind of freaky. <laughs> and go up through the nose and go into your brain and pull this tumor out because I know that if they take the whole pituitary out that's kind of dangerous because y you need adrenaline and when you take the whole pituitary out it causes all kinds of problems so did they leave part of it or did they did they take the whole thing and now she has to be on hormones for the rest of her life she probably has to be on hormones anyway but they check her every six months or so well, that's good yeah, they don't have to check me unless I start having symptoms again. Or if I have any issues with my vision or anything that the tumor could be growing. But luckily, I don't have to get checked. Huh. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to have that surgery, but... I hope I never have to in the future either because they say that it, there's a good good chance that I, I could come out of remission at some point in my life. I'm hoping not because, you know, they said there's a chance I won't, but there's a good chance, a better chance that I will. But because I had it a little bit later in life, in my 30s, it was in my early 30s, I guess, was it? Yeah, like early 30s. Um they said that there's a you know possibility that I'll never have to worry about it again. Hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good, Zoe. Janie, do you want to pick another prompt?
Oh, she was 30. Yeah, that's around. I was, when my problems were happening, I was 30 something. Probably 33, 34. Something like that. Early 30s, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I, I was told that they were pretty um, common to have a pituitary tumor. It wasn't uncommon. What's uncommon about it is when you have a pituitary tumor that's causing a problem. A lot of times you'll have a pituitary tumor and it doesn't do anything. It just sits there and it doesn't cause any problems and it just doesn't do anything. But then there's a small portion of people that have issues with their tumor that causes, you know, it wreaks havoc because it spits out a bunch of hormones that wreak havoc on your whole body because your pituitary pretty much controls every hormone in your body. So once it's, you know, compromised in some way and it's spitting out weird hormones, it makes you do weird things. It makes your body do weird things anyway. Janie. Are you are you rewinded a little bit or can you hear me? You might you might have to put your little slider on my video forward because it might be a little behind. I don't know what that means. The bad man finally finishes Etsy convos. What does that mean? Well, anyway. <laughs> Weed it, play things. Uh, if, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Well, that's interesting, Zoe. No, it's Janie's turn. I don't know where Janie is. <laughs> Hi, Kit Kat. Okay, how about this? Then Zoe, Zoe, pick a prompt for me, please. Because apparently, I think Janie might need to pull her slider forward. I don't think she hears. Yes, I do too. Very much hope it stays quiet. We already did ephemera. Pick something else. We did stamps, splatters, ephemera, shimmer sprays, texture, acrylic paints. We did all we did all those. So pick something we we haven't done yet. I thought this per pen wrote purple. <laughs> Good lord, Janie. That's all right. Zoe's going to take care of it. Me either, Katie. Me either. I'm not a, I'm not a daytime person. We already did stamps, didn't we? No, we didn't. 
Yes, we did. We did stamps. See, these are what we did. We did acrylic paints, texture, glimmer, shimmer sprays, paint splatter, stamps, and ephemera. Weren't you here, Zoe? <laughs> yeah, let's do circles. Or Let's do circles. That sounds good. Let's just do circles. That sounds good. Because we pr pretty much are done anyway. I'm done. I don't see too much more I need. But circles is good. If I could find something to make a circle with, that would be nice. to do maybe a dark blue come on Sorry, I didn't know it was going to confuse your mind. <laughs> I'm a crazy lady. Maybe I'll use, do some more of these. Since I still have blue left over and... Get a lot. What did I do with it? Is this it? No. I guess that's it. My hands look like I strangled a smurf. That's what I do in my spare time. I strangle smurfs. Alright, so that's the finished product. I'm going to move it over here. I have a happy mail to share. I'm just going to take this paper off let it dry and I'll probably use it next week too. I have a happy mail to share. I should have done that first but my brain wasn't working long enough. Joette. Joetta gave me a box or sent gave me a box. She sent me a box and um she sent me a box, and there's a card. Oh, look how cute. Snowman, my favorite. Hi, Stacy. I hope this finds you safe and well. It is not much, but I hope you enjoy it. Painted on that cover I made for you. Happy. Joetta, Miss Joetta, thank you. And look what's in here. This weird stuff that I've never seen before. 
Oh no, that's not true. I have seen this before. Oh my goodness, I have seen this before a long time ago. Do you want to know where I've seen this? <laughs> years and years and years and years and years ago when I got married to Chris, um, we had a Halloween themed wedding and I had a trellis, one of those white metal cheapy trellis things that you can get. Oh, look at that. That just shed everywhere. We're going to move that out of the way. Anyway, um, I had one of those white trellises and I took it and I spray painted it black because I wanted it to be like Halloween because we had like a gothic kind of themed wedding. Like it was Halloween themed. Everybody dressed up, but we were dressed like gothic bride and groom. It was really cool. And we had pillars up by the, where we, you know, where we got married. And then, um, I had the, um, the trellis thing up there, like the arch. And I had spray painted it black and I had put that stuff all over it because that, that it's like viney kind of, and it's sparkly. And I put it all over the trellis. I had a bunch of it. And that's what I used to decorate the trellis. That and some black lights and stuff. It was pretty cool. And then, oh, look at that. That's connected <laughs> with a piece of tape. It got stuck. She sent me some really cool iridescent, like, uh, filler stuff. Kind of looks like, um, what do you call it? Pencil. This stuff is fun to cut up into really small pieces and then um use it as a glitter i've done that i have a little bag of it somewhere around here but that stuff's really cool for that thanks joetta Ooh, look at all these little fancy jewels look at all those those are pretty really cute thank you for those very cool Ooh. What is this? Adhesive ribbon. Oh, we have to look at that. I've never seen that before. I need scissors. Interesting packaging. This is like one sheet. I'm corn fused. How does this work? I'm really confused on how that's supposed to come off of there. Weird. I see. So I see. So there's several pieces of ribbon. And they're all adhesive to the backing paper. I get it. I've never seen anything like that, but that's pretty cool. That'll be fun to play with. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like that. Very cool. Oh, and there's one with orange on it for Halloween. It says, Happy Halloween. Very cool. Very cool. What is this? Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. She said she made this. She said that this was an ornament cover that she put on this ornament. I just get to un get a little tangled. Isn't that beautiful? That's going to go on my pink tree. I'll find a spot for it. It's basically you make you make this cover and then you slip it over the ornament. Like you take the top off of it, you slip it over the ornament. Isn't that cool? Oh, does it, Zoe? I've never tried it before. But this is freaking awesome. I just love this. It's so pretty. I like feeling it. And it makes music. Oh, and it falls off too if you're not careful. But it goes on really easily. That is so cool. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, look at this. Ooh, I've never seen anything like this either. This is like some sort of like, almost like a burlap, but not. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. And it's got skulls on it. And that is just really cool. 
That is cool. These are things I've never seen before. Very cool. Oh, and then we've got all kinds of fun ribbons. Ooh, we got some of those little pom-pom ones. Oh, these are cool. I like the neon ones, too. And then there's these cool lime green and black. And then here's some funky, like, red, white, and blue type of things. Here's some for Halloween. These are cool. Thank you, Joetta. These are so neat. Very cool. Very festive. Loving that. And then in here, oh, she sent me some of those gems that are like the, the, the neon ones. Those are the ones I liked the best out of the ones I had. But I ended up using up all the neon ones pretty much. And so now I've got more neon ones. Oh, I love them. They're cool. Like the neon pink. That's cool. Cool. Thank you, Joetta. This was really cool. I don't know if that will show up. I don't know. Very cool. And I have a couple more containers. Awesome. Thank you, Joetta. That was amazing amazing I don't think she's here but I'm sure she will watch it later maybe I'm assuming I'm sorry for my tardiness today I'm surprised I haven't gotten any more phone calls since I've been sitting here maybe I turn the volume too down low Nope. No, nope. good. Oh. There's a peon on your window. Let's <laughs> won't shut up. I think he thinks he's talking to Stacy. What are you talking about? What peon? Are you talking about a pigeon? I thought you were saying like a peon. <laughs> I think you're talking about a pigeon. That's funny. I thought you said pee on. Like, go away, you pee on. <laughs> the brand of the ribbons, I think it's a Michaels brand because it says celebrate it. And I recognize this celebrate it from Michaels, I believe. I want to say that it's a Michaels brand because I remember this tag kind of from Michaels. So I think it's Michaels celebrate it is the name of the brand, but I think it's a Michaels brand if I'm not mistaken. Bye Deborah. I just said what the brand is. Silly gooses. Silly goose. So I'm working on a video right now um, where I'm working with another stick. <laughs> Hoping to get it finished today if I can stay off the phone long enough. But I sold, did I say, did I mention I sold, remember those wooden or the branch Christmas tree things I made? I sold the one that was done with the moss and the acorns and stuff. I haven't sold the one with the shabby chic yet. I'm hoping that one will sell. But anyway, I'm, oh, thanks, Kendra. I'm going to end the, the live stream here because I have a bunch of things to get finished up because I've been stuck on the phone for so long that 
I haven't gotten anything done and I need to get stuff done today. But I hope you guys had fun and thanks for hanging out with me. And I'm sorry that it was a shorter live stream than normal. Um, and uh, I'll make up for it. Friday night we'll have fun. And I'm sure I'll have a video or two out before then, so. Yeah. Is that recollection? Yeah, it might be recollection, but it says celebrate it. I don't know if it, that's recollection brand or not, but yeah. But all right, everybody have a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. Poodle pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.